Hello, my name is Matthew Bramlett. I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at uh, Children's Hospital of Illinois, and I'm in my lab uh, describing for you what we have uh, for our VR solution for medical education. And so you can see me in the space here, and on the board here are represented uh, all of the individual virtual reality educational experiences we've built. And I just want to give you a sense of the scale at which we're able to build experiences individualized for the learner uh, through this space. And so you, you can see that we've, I mean, we have over 200 that we've built in here. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to pull up uh, EKG or actually a, let's start with a fetal echo or just a regular echo. Let me find it here. Oh, it's PEDS echo. So here's our, this is our PEDS echo trainer. And I'm loading it up right now. And you can see how the space has populated with all of the information here. And uh, we have the model inside the middle of the room here that I can interact with. And I can blow it up and really get in here to understand what's going on with the anatomy, with the interactive tools and any plane that I choose. Uh, but most importantly, I've recorded an educational experience. And so I'm going to press play and you're gonna see the recorded version of myself and probably even, maybe even hear them a little bit. So let's, let's listen in real quick. This is a brief tutorial of how we can train in virtual reality. And so sitting at my computer, I down, I'm pretty boring right there, so I'm just gonna fast forward through to where I get to some very interesting components. And you can see, um, I can, just like in a regular uh, YouTube video, you can scrub through this 4D experience. And right now, what I'm describing is how to replicate this image. And so I have this image here that is related to this position. And it's hard to see from that angle. So let me show you how I'm, what I'm doing is I'm demonstrating how this picture is generated in that location. And this tutorial here is designed to train our sonographers how to uh, perform their duties of get, acquiring the images that they need to learn how to do, uh, so on and so forth. The options are multiple, including with the capability of performing task-based assessment. So here I've asked a question, which arrow correlates to the standard view of the LVOT uh, two? And what I can do is I can essentially angle this to, to really understand, am I in the right spot? And then I can select whatever answer I want and and then get it right, demonstrating a task-based assessment capability not otherwise uh, seen. And so I'm just gonna pull up another quick example. Here is an EKG uh, module that we're working on. Uh, let me see, yeah, right here. So this is how we're training up people to um, sort of the, for the M3, uh, I got a big guy in here right now. Let me uh, just get down to the nitty gritty here. Oh, I'm... And here we have uh, Dr. Um, McBee Orzelak, who's getting ready to tell us about the heart here. And one of the interesting things you can tell about this heart is that we have all of the different elements represented. And so we, we have the heart, we have you know the ribs. Let me pull this out of here. We have you know, the lungs, and what we're enabling people to do is to come in and say, you know, we're gonna place the, let me uh, bring in a little bit of skin here. We can now say this is where the uh, EKG lead goes. We can break it down and further describe where the, uh, here, I'll just press, let's just press play for a second so you can actually kind of hear and see how he's gonna describe it. Francis McBee Orzlack. I'm an internal medicine pediatric physician at the University of Illinois College of Medicine, Peoria. Today we're going to talk about the gross anatomy of the heart. The uh... And just like in everything else, he's using this environment to describe 
right here is just describing the SA node and the uh, AV node and the hist Purkinje system. And never before, like here I'm just pausing it and kind of moving things out of the way so you can see, never before have we had this capability of really getting in and understanding like the, the conduction system in 3D, which we can see here. I mean, we've never had the capability of understanding things in this metric. So this has just been a brief little tutorial. You can see on the board over here how we have all of the different modules for the part one of the EKG test, gross anatomy, including what you know, some uh, anatomy assessment. We have uh, cardiac vector assessment where we're showing the different um, elements and we're asking a question about those as they relate to the vectors. Uh, 12 lead EKG uh, placement. Ah! Loading up the, I got a runaway uh, um, <laughs> surgical light. So this, this has just been a quick little tutorial of what we have to offer. Thank you.